Under the midsummer sun, wheat fields in Aleppo province are ripe for harvest, but market analysts say this year's crop is the worst in three decades. Scorched clearings litter the fields, the scars of missile strikes. Farmers are harvesting early, fearing what's left in the fields could be devastated at any moment. This year, people are harvesting the land early. They can't work because of the missiles. They can't prepare their fields for harvest next year because of the fires caused by the missiles. Shepherds say their livestock are dying through starvation. The scale of the devastation is forcing Syria's government to look overseas for commodities, says Anthony Skinner of risk analyst Maplecroft, who spoke to VOA via Skype. Bashar al-Assad's ambition was for self-sufficiency in order to be able to sustain um, his side of the conflict in combating uh, the armed opposition movement. But what we've seen, of course, has been massive displacement of civilians and farmers, and they're unable to sow their crops, unable to acquire the fertilizers, the seeds, and to operate normally. Skinner says Western sanctions make it difficult for commodity traders to do business with Damascus, and the government may try to access money frozen in European accounts to pay for food imports. The European Union says Syrian money frozen under sanctions may be released if approved by the member state concerned, but only if it can be proven that it will be used for humanitarian purposes. In Aleppo, market sellers have set up next to the Bustan al qasir checkpoint, which divides rebel and government-held territory. The makeshift defences are basic and often inadequate, says this fruit trader. Even though there is sniper fire, we are still here working as normal. God is our provider and protector. We still get shelled, though. Satellite images released by Amnesty International show civilian areas of Aleppo in 2012 and then two months later after rocket attacks targeted the districts. The group says the destruction is clear, making it difficult for residents to get daily staples. Donatella Rivera, senior crisis response advisor for Amnesty, has just returned from Aleppo. Very large sections of the city have been reduced to rubbles. And of course, um, so many civilians, children, women, um, ordinary people um, have been killed and maimed in the process. Hundreds of thousands of, of the inhabitants have become refugees and those who are within the city still are finding it increasingly difficult to um, just, just meet their very basic need, even just to find bread on a, on a daily basis. The United Nations World Food Programme says because of intense fighting, it delivered aid to only 2.4 million people in Syria in July, short of its target of 3 million people. Henry Ridgewell for VUA News, London.